Thank you so much, Governor. I'm Brian Mason. I'm the District Attorney for Colorado's 17th Judicial District, which includes Adams and Broomfield counties. Gun violence is one of the biggest crises facing our community, our state, and our country. And ghost guns are part of the problem. I've been in the DA's office now for almost 17 years. And 10 years ago, I didn't even know what a ghost gun was. I didn't even know what it was. And now we're seeing ghost guns being used in homicides in Colorado, in Adams County, in pending homicide cases in my jurisdiction. We have ghost guns that were used to kill people. And no matter where you stand, no matter where you stand on our often contentious gun debate in this country, everybody agrees that those who use guns to commit crimes, particularly homicides and attempted murders, need to be held accountable for those crimes. And yet when they use a ghost gun, we can't trace them. And everybody agrees, no matter where you stand on this issue, that law enforcement needs to have the tools to solve these cases. And when it's a ghost gun that's involved, we can't solve them. So this bill does something about that. And that is something to celebrate. I want to thank the governor for his leadership on this legislation and so many other pieces of legislation to make Colorado one of the safest states in the country. I want to thank my Republican and Democratic colleagues. I think this is a truly unique, and I'm going to say special, collaboration, which we don't see as often as we would like, where we could all come together on an issue that we really knew needed to be addressed. I want to thank our outstanding bill sponsors. I want to thank our outstanding advocates from Blue Rising to Brady to Moms Demand and everybody else for helping get this bill across the finish line. This bill isn't going to solve gun violence in Colorado, but by addressing ghost guns, I think it's going to make a dent. And that's something worth celebrating. Thank you so much.